Health and being at home a lot gives us an opportunity to still catch up with family and friends through different ways. This morning I'm just catching up with ESPN and NASCAR broadcasting great Dr. Jerry Punch who lives here in Knoxville and like me he recently had shoulder surgery. All right, Doc, just checking in with you. Uh, first of all, how's the shoulder doing? Mine, mine's a little sore, but doing good. How about yours? I'm the same way, Russell. I'm, I'm glad you're doing well. Mine's, mine's sore, a little bit on top and back. I'm about three months eight uh, out. I'm, uh, I'm still having a hard time with the vacuum and, and, and doing some of the window washing, but I'm getting good. Me too. It's weird. It's weird how that's working. <laughs> so what have you been doing? Um, just in this time where we're supposed to stay at home and social distance, I know you like to exercise. How you doing, man? Well, it's funny. I, I bought a, one of the blow-up exercise balls, or at least two sit-ups, you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of elliptical, uh, caught up on some reading, uh, and, and sort of been able to be on the phone and chat with, uh, with friends or text with friends like you and others, some of the NASCAR drivers, some of the football coaches that I've, that I've been friends with for a long time on different conferences that normally this time of year, they're pretty busy. So, we can sit and reminisce some of the announcers I've worked with in college football and auto racing, but we've never had this kind of downtime. I have, I have been privileged to listen to a lot of great stories that you have told over the years about NASCAR. <laughs> uh, can you just tell the one about your wife being pregnant and what the late Dale Earnhardt <laughs> did? Just tell that one. Just tell that one. Well, it, it, it's, uh, I, was, I was blessed to have a great friendship with Dale Earnhardt Sr. And, um, and I did auto racing in college football, obviously, and it was in November, and, got, and, auto, and the C NASCAR season was over, so I was off to a college football game in College Station, Texas. It was Thanksgiving night, Texas versus Texas A&M, and uh, Dale Earnhardt uh, comes back into his house in Kannapolis, walks in the door, sees that uh, I'm doing a football game in Texas that night. He also knows that uh, I'm living in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, and my house that we built up there is on top of the mountain, and it's snowing sideways in western North Carolina in November. So he calls my wife, Joni, you're pregnant and you're getting ready to have that youngin and uh, I don't want you to be alone. And Joni says, Dale, that's awfully sweet of you, but I'm still two months away from having this baby. I'm only seven months pregnant. I'll be fine. I, have, I don't have any needs here. I'm good. He said, nope, you're not going to be up there by yourself on that mountain without someone to drive you somewhere. I'm going to send a guy up there with a flatbed truck. And Joni kept trying to convince him not to do it. And finally, in the last minute, he said, okay, I won't send the guy, but you call me. And it's just funny, that's that's the kind of guy he was in the friendship. And here's the irony of that. A few weeks ago, when I was at the NASCAR Hall of Fame uh, award ceremony in Charlotte, right. I had my daughter Jessica with me. And wow. She had NASCAR. And, and a guy walks up to me and says, Dr. Punch, is this your daughter, Jesse? And I said, yeah. He said, just so you know, I was the guy that Dale was sending up there uh, that night. To, to stay at your house and take your wife somewhere if she started getting ready to have that baby. So this is a little girl she was going to have. I said, that's her. And she is now in the NASCAR broadcasting business as well. Great catching up with him.